Hey! Hi there, boys and girls! Welcome to Gateway Kids Club Storytelling! My name is Duane, and I was just looking through my collection of hats. I've got quite a few, I must say. And I found out something. All my hats have something in common. They are all made of straw. Do you know what straw is? No, 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 it's not the plastic thing you use to drink your drinks. Straw is a type of material. It's dried stalks of grain and wheat that we don't process for food, but we weave them into packing material or to hats like these. And sometimes we even make bags from straw. Um, ooh, check these out. <laughs> these are also made from straw. Throw a little paint on and you have this beautiful red clutch. <laughs> Today's story is also about straw, but we're not going to weave straw into bags or hats. Today's story is about spinning straw into gold. And this is done miraculously by one little green man, Rumpelstiltskin. Once upon a time, far, far away in the thick, green, luscious forests by the stream, there stood a mill. And on this mill lived a miller and his daughter. Boys and girls, do you know what a mill is? Well, a mill is a huge building, like a factory, that has a huge machine. And this machine grinds grain and wheat into flour. And flour is what we use to bake bread and cakes and other pastries. Well, the person working on the mill is called the miller. Well, the miller was a hard-working man. He worked so hard that he earned enough to live a comfortable life. One day, after a hard day's work, the miller was unwinding at the inn nearby with some of his friends. Okay, <clears throat> miller. All right. <clears throat> the miller loved to chit-chat with all his friends. He also loved to boast and brag about what he had. <clears throat> Hey, Bobby! <laughs> Did you know that I happen to live in a huge house? And I recently just bought two big white horses to pull my huge carriage. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I'm sure you know about my beautiful daughter. <laughs> what a lucky man I am! <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Milo! <laughs> oh, you love to brag, don't you? You know, I hear that the baker now, he has a huge house. I think it's much bigger than yours. <laughs> and I heard that he has four white horses. <laughs> and he doesn't have just one beautiful daughter. He has three beautiful daughters. <laughs> now, the miller did not want to lose out in this conversation. And so he had to think of something. <clears throat> well, um, my daughter... She can spin straw into gold. Oh no, this was obviously not true and the miller got carried away. But it was too late because in the inn, the king was having dinner with some of his friends in a private room and he had overheard the conversation. Okay, king. <clears throat> ah, miller. <laughs> What is this I hear about your daughter being able to spin straw into gold? <laughs> it almost sounds like a miracle. <laughs> but I like to see miracles happen. <laughs> so I tell you what, Miller. Why don't you bring your daughter to my palace tomorrow and then she can demonstrate how straw is spun into gold. <laughs> see you tomorrow evening. Don't be late. And with that, the king left. Now, the miller was really worried. He knew he had told a lie, but he didn't dare run after the king to tell him the truth because he didn't want to get into trouble. So he had no choice. He went home and told his daughter that the king had invited them to his palace. <clears throat> <gasps> Father! Wow! I'm so excited to meet the king. I've never been to the palace before. I'm going to wear my golden necklace. Fit for royalty. <gasps> oh, my hands are bare. I know, I'm going to wear my ruby ring. <laughs> this will sure to impress the king. And of course, my beautiful shawl. Now I can't wait to go see the king. So the next day, the miller and the daughter went to the palace. It was a majestic palace. 
There were golden flags all across the courts. The floor was so shiny you could see your own reflection in it. The pillars were made of marble with golden trimmings and there were servants all over the palace. One of the servants brought the miller away. Another servant ushered the miller's daughter into a room. Wow, this is such a strange place for a king to meet his guest. There's almost nothing in here but a lot of, ooh, a lot of straw and a spinning wheel. The spinning wheel? Boys and girls, do you know what a spinning wheel is used for? Well, a spinning wheel is used to spin cotton or wool into yarn. But I don't see any cotton or wool anywhere. I only see a lot of straw. I wonder what this king is up to. Just then, the king entered the room. <clears throat> ah, if it isn't the miller's daughter. I've heard so much about you. I've heard how talented you are. Your father told me that you can spin straw into gold. I'd like to see that for myself. So I prepared this room full of straw for you. You have the whole night to spin this straw into gold. But tomorrow morning, if you fail, you will die. <laughs> See you tomorrow morning. <laughs> and the king left the room, locking the door behind him. Now the miller's daughter was really scared. Oh no, why did my father lie? He told the king I could spin straw into gold. I obviously can't do it. Oh, and tomorrow morning, I'm just as good as dead. <laughs> and she was crying just then. Out of nowhere, like magic, a little green man appeared. Hello! Oh, oh, hi! Oh, why are you crying? Well, the king wants me to turn all this straw into gold by tomorrow morning. And if I don't, I will die! Oh, I can spin straw into gold! You can? Of course! For a price! I, oh, I have this golden necklace. Um, it's worth quite a lot. Hmm. Okay, now, I want you to go to sleep. Go, go to sleep? Yeah, I'm not giving away my trade secrets. Okay, I'll go to sleep. And so the miller's daughter went to sleep. <clears throat> Dwayne? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's me now. I need the help. Oh, okay, what do you need their help with? I need their help to say the magic rhyme. Oh, boys and girls, could we help this little green man with some magic? He needs our help to say a magic rhyme. Okay, I think they're good. Okay, I'll need you to repeat after me. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> with the maiden sleeping tight, with the maiden sleeping tight, I will spin the straw all night. I will spin the straw all night. When she wakes, she will behold. When she wakes, she will behold. The straw has turned pure into gold. The straw has turned pure into gold. One more time. Okay, one more time. One, two, three. <clears throat> with the maiden sleeping tight, with the maiden sleeping tight, I will spin the straw all night. I will spin the straw all night. When she wakes, she will behold. When she wakes, she will behold. The straw has turned pure into gold. The straw has turned pure into gold. Ta-da! Ta-da! Vroom! And with that, the little green man disappeared. And the room that was filled with straw had now turned into gold. Ding, 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 ding. The very next morning, the king came back to the room. <clears throat> Ah, good morning! <laughs> Look at this! What a miracle indeed! You have turned all the straw into gold! <laughs> Come with me, Miller's daughter. I've got a surprise for you. And so the king brought the Miller's daughter into another room. This room was bigger 
double the size of the previous room, and it was also full of straw. Now, Miller's daughter, <laughs> you have the whole night to spin all this straw into gold. You did it once. I'm sure you can do it again. But remember, by tomorrow morning, if this is still straw and not gold, you will die. <laughs> And with that, the king left and locked the door behind him. Oh. oh no, there's so much more straw now. Whatever am I going to do? Oh, I wish the little man would come and help me again. <laughs> and just then, out of nowhere again, the little green man appeared. Brum, bum, bum, bum. I'm back. <laughs> oh, why? There's so much straw. Okay, what do you need help with? <laughs> the same thing. The king says if I am unable to turn all this into gold, he will kill me. Hmm, I can spin straw into gold for a price. Well, uh, well, I have this ruby ring here. It's worth a lot. You could have it. Deal. Now go to sleep. Okay, so the miller's daughter went to sleep. <clears throat> Repeat after me, boys and girls. <clears throat> With the maiden sleeping tight, with the maiden sleeping tight, I will spin the straw all night. I will spin the straw all night. When she wakes, she will behold. When she wakes, she will behold. The straw has turned pure into gold. The straw has turned pure into gold. Ta-da! Ta-da! Vroom! And with that, the little green man disappeared. Oh, and once again, he did a miracle. All the straw had turned into gold. Wow, glittering gold. The gold shimmered and filled the whole room. Now the king came back the very next morning. <clears throat> shing, shing, shing. Oh, I can hardly believe my eyes. This gold is so bright. <gasps> you have successfully spun all this straw into gold. <laughs> Well done! Now, Miller's daughter, I have one more surprise for you. <laughs> Come with me. And so the king brought the Miller's daughter into the largest room ever. Over here, there is a lot more straw. You will have the whole night to turn all the straw into gold. <laughs> if you are unable to do it, you will die. But I have a new clause. If you are able to spin all this into gold, then I will make you my queen. I shall marry you. <laughs> but remember, if you fail tomorrow morning, you will die. <laughs> and with that, the king left and locked the door behind him. Oh, oh no. Oh no, what am I going to do? This room is even bigger than the previous two rooms. Oh, little man, where are you? I wish you could come and help me. And suddenly, the little man appeared again. The rum bum 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 I'm back! Whoa! This room is huge! Yes, and the king said that if I don't turn all this into gold tomorrow morning, he will kill you! Blah. Yes, he will. And also, he said, if I am able to turn all this into gold, he will make me the queen. Ooh, queen! <laughs> well, I can spin all this straw into gold for a price. Oh, I'm afraid I don't have anything to offer you anymore. Hmm? Nothing valuable. Hmm. Ah! You said that the king would make you his queen. Well, then... I want your firstborn child when you become queen. Um, well, the miller's daughter was so stressed at that point in time, she didn't have time to think properly, so she agreed in a haste. Okay, okay, you can have my firstborn if I become queen. Deal! Now you know the drill. Go to sleep. Okay. So the miller's daughter went to sleep. <clears throat> Boys and girls, are you ready? <laughs> I can't hear you. Are you ready? Great! <clears throat> with the maiden sleeping tight, 
with the maiden sleeping tight. I will spin the straw all night. I will spin the straw all night. When she wakes, she will behold. When she wakes, she will behold. The straw has turned pure into gold. The straw has turned pure into gold. Ta da! Ta da! Vroom! And with that, the little green man disappeared. And from the third night, in a row, he had turned all the straw into shining gold. Now, the king, he was very, very impressed when he saw this. And he kept his promise. He married the miller's daughter and made her his queen. A year had passed and the miller's daughter had forgotten all about the little green man. In fact, she had given birth to a baby girl. Okay, who wants to be the baby girl? I'm gonna be, no, you're a horse. Okay, I've got a baby girl here. Ah. The queen had given birth to a baby girl. Okay, let me get the queen back. Okay, hmm. All right, how do I look, baby? Great, mommy. Good. <clears throat> oh, my little baby, you're so cute. Look at my little baby boys and girls. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to put you to bed now. Rest well. Just then, the little green man, after a year, finally appeared. I'm back! Oh, what are you doing back? We had a deal, remember? I spin the straw into gold and you give me your child. Woo, what a cute little child. Peek-a-boo! Um, please, please, please don't take it. She's my only child. Exactly. We had a deal. Uh, look. I am the queen. I live in the palace. You can have all the jewelry and the jam and all the wealth this palace has to offer. Hmm. Well, a living thing is more valuable than all the treasures your palace has to offer. Oh, but please, please, please don't take my child. Hmm. The little green man took pity on the miller's daughter and struck a deal with her. Fine. I will give you three days to guess my name. And if you are able to guess my name, then you can keep your daughter. But if you can't guess my name, then <laughs> the daughter is mine. <laughs> bye bye. And so the little green man disappeared. Now, the miller's daughter was really worried for she really wanted to keep her daughter. So she sent out her servant into the kingdom to find out the most unusual names ever. She had only three days. After the first day, the little green man appeared. Ring, ping, ping. I'm back. Okay, are you ready for your guesses? This is day number one. Okay, is your name Frank and Bob? What? No. Oh, is your name um, Tingamaflop? No. Is your name Chickadee? No! Bye! Vroom! Oh, to all the guesses that the miller's daughter made, the answer was always no, no, no! Day number two, she still had no news, so she just started guessing. Um, I'm back! -na -na. <laughs> okay, are you ready for your guesses? Day number two! Okay, is your name Flippity Flop? No! Is your name, um, Biggity Bop? No! Is your name oh, the Green Goblin? <laughs> no. Oh! And to all those guesses, the answer was always no, 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 no! Boom! Oh dear, whatever's going to happen, I only have one more day! Now, just then, one of the servants that she had sent out returned to her with a very, very special news. Okay, servant, servant, okay. <clears throat> Your Majesty, psst, psst, Your Majesty. So I was going through the kingdom and I came across this forest, this thick green forest, and there was a path, a path in the middle. So I followed the path and I saw a little house. Now this strange little house had a, a little campfire in front. It was burning and around the campfire there was a little green man. He was hopping and skipping and laughing. And he was reciting this rhyme. It went something like this. Um, this silly queen will never guess. 
but this is such a tricky test. Oh, how I love this little game for Rumpelstiltskin is my name. <gasps> Rumpelstiltskin is my name. That is such an unusual name. Boys and girls, could you help me pronounce this name and help me remember it? It's Rumpelstiltskin. Four syllables, okay? Let's try it together. Rumpelstiltskin. Let's say it together. Rumpelstiltskin. Rumpelstiltskin. Let's say it three times really quickly. Rumpelstiltskin, Rumpelstiltskin, Rumpelstiltskin. Well done. <laughs> and so, the miller's daughter knew the name of the little green man. Then came the third day. <clears throat> I'm back. Are you ready, miller's daughter? This is your final chance. <laughs> okay, three guesses on the third day. Sure. Is your name hmm, Flickety Fly? No. Is your name uh, Chickity Chop? No. Is your name Rumpelstiltskin? <gasps> dun, 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 dun. No. How, how, how did you guess my name? How did you guess my name? Nobody knows my name. <laughs> And all oh, the, the little green man by the name of Rumpelstiltskin was so angry that she got it correct. He was livid with rage. He started jumping up and down. He stomped his foot so hard that it went through the ground. The earth opened up and swallowed him all the way to its core. Bye-bye. <sighs> <sighs> and so that was a loss that the miller's daughter had ever heard of Rumpelstiltskin ever again. Oh, oh my dear baby. Now you are safe. We should never see or hear that little green man ever again. The end. Wow, <laughs> that was such an exciting experience for the miller's daughter. It was quite scary. She went through such a journey. And all because of the miller who was bragging and he told a lie. Because of that, he got his daughter into trouble. See, boys and girls, it's important that we tell the truth. Because if we boast and we brag so much, especially if it's not true, we might get other people into trouble. Sometimes we might get ourselves into trouble. So remember, don't forget to tell the truth at all times, at all costs. If you enjoyed today's story, Click like and subscribe to our channel for updates on Kids Club activities and our new weekly arts and craft projects. Please follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Mommies and Daddies, Gateway Kids Club is a free program and your donation helps to keep this program running as well as support artists like myself. To donate, see the link below or visit our website. Finally, we have another important announcement to make. From the 27th of June, our stories will premiere via a private link. So join us on our mailing list to receive this link. See you next week for a new exciting story. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, now, ooh, where's my hat? Ooh, I love this favorite hat of mine. How are you doing, octopus? I'm good! Oh, my baby. Baby, how are you, my baby? Okay, you did really well today. I know! Okay, you didn't. I was just about to say you didn't. Okay, where's the mother? Where's the mother? Uh, Miller's daughter, where?